Dakar. Um, I don't know, I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys today, I guess. I, there's no real reason behind it. There's no real reason behind anything I do. Um, I just wanted to get a couple things off my chest. Um, I'm a compulsive liar, but I only lie about things that I know won't change who I am or what I am, if that makes sense. So if you talk to me about something, and, I don't know, we're just hanging out or whatever, and you say um, something stupid, like, like I, 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 I only lie about things that don't make sense. Like, uh, my buddy was asking me something the other day, and he said something like, uh, so why are you going to Wyoming? I, I, by the way, I'm going to Wyoming this week on Friday or Thursday. I don't know. Um, I'm going to Wyoming. He asked me why I was going to Wyoming, and the first thing I said to him was because I wanted to meet some new people. I don't care about meeting new people. Just doesn't. I mean, I love people and I love making new friends, but that's just not why I'm going. I'm going to get a new e-cig because mine is really fucked up right now. Um, yeah, there's there's some things that are a little bit more important that I want to talk to you about too. Um, I don't feel like people understand when I, 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 I've explained this to so many people and I, I felt this way for a very long time. I, I don't feel uh, emotion. I, I've been given pills for it. I've been taking vitamins and all this stuff that people said would help me and help me produce those chemicals in my brain to you know, make that connection happen. Um, I, I just don't feel regular emotion. I feel numb is the word that uh, my doctor used to describe it. And uh, I, I don't know, I've always liked that, that word in particular. So when I when I do feel emotion, when these pills actually do kick in, when they actually do make that connection, it's pain is a slight tinge. Joy is a slight trill in my brain. Um, anger is uh, still just the same. It's just me. There's nothing in my past that could have possibly caused that. And I've seen a lot of things growing up that most people wouldn't have seen, and a lot of things that no child should see. However, in the end, none of those things were my fault. None of those things were controllable by me. I was just a little kid. I didn't understand. So, it's not like there's anything mentally wrong with me, I'm perfectly okay in a general sense, but I have a slight speech impediment, and my brain doesn't produce enough chemicals, no matter what I do to my body, no matter what I eat, no matter what I, no matter what pills I take, um, I just don't feel strong emotion, I never have. Yeah, that's just some of the sad shit that goes on in my life that I wanted to bring to you guys, because, you know, I, I guess in my last video I kind of said that I'd just be talking about life and stuff and my opinions, and that's uh, it's my opinion on me, and that's how I 
feel, I guess. And um, I don't know. You take that as you will. You're a complete stranger to me. I don't even have to be telling you this. Why am I telling you this? I don't know. I just feel like I needed to tell somebody. And uh, let's trust the an anonymity of the internet to keep the pace. I don't know. I'm not. <laughs> On the topic of not feeling anything. Um, People approach me about all sorts of things in my life. They uh, ask me questions that are unanswerable to a lot of people. Um, they ask me things about myself that I don't even know, and I don't know how to reply to that. Um, the other day, or a couple months ago, this girl that I was dating because the when I date people, I don't date them to date them. I date them to get married. That's the long-term goal in dating. That's what dating should be about. Um, but she asked me uh, what my thoughts were on God. This is a very intense kind of open-minded topic that anybody can get into a discussion about and argue for hours even though you have the same exact beliefs and views on the subject as someone else because this is such an open topic that people can argue all these points but my the only thing I said to her was that I know for a fact that there is a God and the reason that I know that don't fucking paint me as some religious, like, crazy nut job. I'm not saying you should believe in God. I'm not saying you shouldn't believe in God. What I'm telling you is... If there isn't a God, why is it that we have not found life on any other planet? Not just microscopic organisms. That, that can be transferred very easily from place to place. An asteroid passes into our atmosphere and picks up some strain of something and takes it to another planet. That's very easy to explain. Even if it did originate there, it's very unlikely that it would have survived. Even if it had survived, it's, it's very, very unlikely that it would have accumulated enough uh, energy and had enough uh, life force to be able to grow into something like a human. Um, so basically my point is is that there has to be a God in order for us to be in this exact position relatively to the sun. Because if, if there isn't a God, why is there absolutely no other life on any other planet? Or why haven't we found one? If there is life on another planet, you can correct me. By all means, go ahead. Um, if there is no God, feel free to argue with me about it. I'm very open to discussion on that. But I'm not telling you there is a God. I'm not telling you there's not a God. I'm not telling you to absorb my opinion. I'm just saying that this is what I think. There has to be something. Some higher power. Something controlling everything that has... Everything, some, something that controlled the birth of the universe. And if there's not, feel free to correct me. But if it's just chance that we're here, then what's the meaning of life? What's the point in continuing living if we're just going to die and rot in the earth? I don't know if I believe in heaven. All I know is something had to have created this. That's uh, it's my opinion on that. Uh, if you guys want more, you know, subscribe, like, whatever the fuck you want to do. You can just come back and I'll try to find my videos again. But um, yeah, thanks for your time. Um, I'll 
try to put out a video at least once or twice a week and see how this goes. If you like my videos, then I'll keep posting. If not, then I'll keep posting because I need someone to vent to. So, yeah, peace.